Today's video is SpaceX Starlink Mission. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. Um, now, I don't know exactly what this is, but i seen something like it's something about like a satellite or something. So, yeah, let's see what they're talking about. Launch checked countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Vehicle is super soft. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing like that deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hop. No, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like SpaceX, I feel like they changed the overall design of a rocket ship. It may not be true. Anyway, uh, you, I don't think you could pay me any amount of money to go up there into space. I don't think you could. I'm not doing it. Because for one, it's already dangerous as it is. But there's also many other problems you got to worry about. And I don't feel like I want to risk my life to go up in space. Or anything of that sort. You know? Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to our 49th Starlink mission. I'm Andy Tran, and I'll be your host for today's mission. On screen is a live view of Falcon 9 ready to take our 53 Starlink satellites into space today. We've got quite an exciting weekend ahead of us with... Oh, they're taking satellites into space. Oh, okay. Three planned launches. Starlink is set to lift off about eight minutes from now at 12.09 p.m. Eastern Time uh, at Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And starting tomorrow, we have two launches planned within about 14 hours of each other. First up, we'll have the Star one launch targeted for liftoff at 7.20 a.m. Pacific Time from Space Launch Complex 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base. Then we'll have the Global Star FM-15 launch targeted for liftoff on Sunday at 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time from Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. For today's Starlink launch, we'll be ending live coverage just after the first stage landing and second engine cutoff. We'll confirm deployment of our Starlink satellites via SpaceX's social channels, but we'll also leave the mission audio live on our YouTube channel if you'd like to follow along through payload deploy. If for some reason we don't launch today, we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at 11.47 a.m. Eastern Time. And, as if three back-to-back-to-back -back -back launches wasn't exciting enough, this month also... Bonte, cut video right here. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1. <coughs> Zero. Ignition. Uh, uh, and that's off. Uh, uh, Vehicle is pitching down range. Damn. Two over two hundred. Mm. Wow. But that bitch going fast. That might look slow, but that bitch going fast. Three hundred four five. We are T plus 37 seconds into the mission. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites into space. Right, Moments ago, we began to throttle down the engines on the first stage in preparation for an event known as Max Q. This is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon 9 
mine is supersonic. Max Q. Awesome. Now that Max Q is behind us, we are throwing the engines back up to full power. Coming up are a series of events happening in quick succession. First is Miko, also known as the main engine cutoff. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next milestone, which is stage separation. During this event, both the, uh, the first and second stages will separate from one another. The first stage will make its way back to our drone ship, and the second stage will continue its journey with second engine startup, or SES-1. During this event, the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will light up and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into orbit. And then shortly after SES-1, we'll have the fairing halves deploy and expose our Starlink satellites to the vacuum of space. Bro, 5,000 miles per hour. That bitch is zooming. That is wild. First of those events. It's expected to happen uh, in a few seconds here. That is crazy. All right, well, I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social medias. Uh, recommend new things for me to watch or talk about. Um, yeah. Nah, but that was insane. It is, it is at 8,000 right now. 8,000. Do you put that through a car? You will never get stopped by the police again. Never again. That is crazy. But I feel like, I don't know, SpaceX, that is literally anything over there. SpaceX, whatever. I feel like this is just going to explode and be better than anything else. The number one, the number one product. You feel me? Not product, but company or whatever. But it's like, it's up there. It's, it's up there. Uh, I was reading some of my comments, and, like, there was someone, and he was saying how he felt about, like, Elon Musk and everything. But it's like, at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters because he's already proven to other people what he can bring and what he can do. So one little opinion ain't gonna matter it's a bigger picture you feel me you know but yeah that was the end of the video make sure you like i'm subscribe on my social media and i am out